Let's work through a practice test question together that comes from our Level Up RN membership, which has over a thousand review questions. In this practice exam question, we are being asked, the nurse should educate a patient to engage in which of the following activities following a hip arthroplasty. So we have a patient who just had a hip replacement. And when a patient has a hip replacement, it's really important after the surgery that they not allow their hips to flex past 90 degrees. And we also want to keep their legs abducted in order to prevent joint dislocation. So let's see what our options are. The first is cross the ankles when sitting. We do not want our patient to do this. So this is definitely not correct. The second option is to use an elevated toilet seat. So this is a good idea because it helps the patient sit higher and puts less pressure on that hip. They're not going to be flexing their hip as much with an elevated toilet seat. So this is likely our correct answer, but let's look at our other options. Option three is avoid the use of a pillow between the knees when sleeping. Um, that is not accurate. We want to keep those legs abducted. So we would use a special abduction pillow in between the legs or, um, or a regular pillow, but we want those legs apart. So this is not accurate. And then the fourth is bend at the waist to put on shoes. Again, we are trying to avoid hip flexion past 90 degrees. So we want to avoid doing this. So the patient may need to temporarily use shoes that they can slip on so they're not bending at the waist. So the correct answer here is use an elevated toilet seat. So let's make sure we got that right. And we did. <laughs>